Hi there. Welcome back. So we are going to set up for the week of Halloween. Um, I have my kit. I've already decided I wanted to use my Pumpkin King kit from Sweet Quiet Designs. Uh, I'm still trying to just use up all the stickers that I can. So we're just going to decorate with this kit I got this last year so I love this kit it's so cute I think that leaves me with two Halloween kits left from Sweet Quiet Designs I still have some fall ones that I'm gonna try to use up but I hate I mean like I don't mind but I hate doing the same setup every week so I don't know I was kind of debating on what to do but I just don't like not using all the stickers. It's kind of the point to use as many as possible. But maybe I'll do a little bit different this week. And I'm going to go ahead and take my cover out. Or my cover off. And get this out. Let's see. So... This is next week, and then after that, I will be on vacation for a week. I'm so excited. Not going anywhere, but I'm going to try to get some stuff done around here. I have several videos that I want to film, so I'm hoping that I can get that done. And just lots to do. I want to do some fall clean out and get rid of some things. But let's go ahead and get started. And, um, I had a couple of things. So, I've been using my Mac for years to edit and upload my videos. And I, I don't know. I don't know if it's... I don't know. Maybe I'm just being dumb. I mean, I have worked with computers and I've actually had a Mac. I've owned a Mac since uh, 2012. Oh, that is not straight. I think since 2012 I've owned a Mac. So it's not like it's something that I'm new to or, you know, I have not had a problem except for, I guess, the last few years that I've been editing videos, I, my hard drive is just always full. And it doesn't matter that I move, delete, whatever. I don't know. And so, <clears throat> I don't know if it's iMovie that is causing this issue because I was using CapCut. And honestly, I can just get through editing so much quicker if I use iMovie because I've used it for so many years. There's nothing. I don't know. Nothing kind of hindering me. I just, I know all the shortcuts. I know how to get through it quick. And I edit so much faster. So I went back to using iMovie. But the last two videos that I've made, I have not been able to... edit in iMovie. I've had to go back and use CapCut because I, I, I don't have, my Mac says it doesn't have enough space. And so I don't understand what's going on with the stupid thing. So if any of you out there use Mac to edit, upload videos, uh, I would love to talk to you <laughs> about, um, I don't know, like your storage situation, how you, because I don't know, I can't get it to work. I watched several videos on people who were editing from an external hard drive, which I bought one and I can't get it to work. I've moved my library over there. It just doesn't work. So I don't know. I don't know. Again, don't know what I'm doing wrong with that, but it doesn't work for me. So, so I quit using that. I feel bad because Steven was so kind to buy me a huge 
hard drive. And I'm not using it, so. But I can't get it to work right, so. Oh, I was gonna, man, I was gonna use these too. Let's see if we can go back and do that. I just wanted to put them on the top behind, just give it a little bit of something. But yeah, so if any of you do videos and edit, what do you use and you know, what kind of computer do you use? I mean, I always just use the Mac because I had an iPhone and that's how I was recording. Well, now I have a, I mean, I've had, I've been using this camera for, I don't know, maybe, what, two years at this point? I don't know if I've had it for two years. I may have only had it for like a year and a half. But, but yeah, so any tips, tricks, sorry about my voice, man. This is, I don't know if I'm coming down with something, but, or if it's just like allergies or the weather that keeps, you know, like it was 82 yesterday or something like that. And it's going to be 80 out today, but my voice keeps being all cracky and awful so sorry about that but and then also um my winner for the n2 has not contacted me yet so i'm gonna put the winner on this video i'm gonna put in a title on the screen now if this is you, please reach out to me, send me an email, send me an email or contact me on Instagram so I can get this sent out. I'm going to give it like a few more days. It's been almost a week. I'm going to give it a few more days and if you don't contact me, I'm going to have to move on and choose another winner. So, um, please, if you were the winner, please contact me via my business email address please contact me so i can send this to you i don't want to have to choose another winner if i do have to choose another winner i'm just going to go back to the original video and pull another winner from those comments we're not going to rerun the giveaway i'm not i'm just going to pull another winner so I'll probably, I don't know, maybe give it another week. I'm, it's Saturday right now. Tomorrow's Sunday, so tomorrow makes a week since I chose the winner. But I know not everybody has time to watch videos, but I did tag her twice. So she should get some kind of a notification, email, or something. But I don't know. I'll probably give it another, I don't know, several days at least, and we'll go from there, but please reach out if you were the winner. I want to get this shipped out as soon as possible. So those were the two things that I mainly wanted to talk about. Um, and then I was just going to tell you guys, yesterday we went to, so tomorrow is Steve, today's Saturday, the what? 26th, I think. Yeah, today is the 26th. So tomorrow's Stephen's birthday, so I wanted to take him out and do something fun. So we went to an apple orchard. Um, I don't know, it's an hour or so away from here. And we went there and just, yeah, this is making, these date dots are like making my planners so hard right there and thick. I'm going to have to quit using these kits for like the rest of the year but um we went and we had so much fun we didn't really do a lot they have like a market and they have like all these fresh made things so we picked up some apple cider donuts and fried apple pies and i think steven got this huge uh 
cinnamon roll. Oh my goodness. It's like literally as big as my head. It's huge. Oh, there's not one for the weekly review on this? Hmm. Huh. Okay. I mean, that's fine. <clears throat> mm, do I want to use the days? Just because they're a different font. Let me see if it'll cover, hide the actual date dot. If not, I'm not going to bother. Uh, yeah, I did okay. I don't know that it will on these. Eh, I'm not going to do that. I don't. Nah, we're just going to leave it like that. I like the font though. It's definitely a very Nightmare Before Christmas numbery vibe going on with that. All right, so let's see. How do I do? A, yeah, I guess I'll use the boxes. It's just because I want to be able to use them all. She didn't do a double box on this one, so we have six. Seven, eight, nine. So we have one that we can use for here. But yeah, so we had a really good time at the apple orchard. We just kind of shopped around and enjoyed ourselves the drive was really nice it is like really out in the country so we we had a nice drive and then oh, about it we didn't we didn't really do much of anything else i don't have anything else really planned we ate out last night so I don't know, I'll probably still do something, either cook something that he wants or take him somewhere on, on his actual birthday on Sunday. So, we'll see. I haven't made up my mind about that yet, but... But yeah, that's about it. Nothing much going on. I'm so excited for vacation. I cannot wait. And Steven did not take it off. Like, I... I know I told him what days they were. I took mine off back in April. We had planned because we were going to Florida. And then our plans just kind of changed because of buying the car and just, you know, trying to save some money. And... <laughs> He, uh, he didn't put in for it, so I'm, he said that he, he put in for it when he went in, I don't know, Friday or something, or no, Thursday, because we were off yesterday, so, um, he said he wasn't sure if they were going to approve it or not, and I was like, well, I mean, you can't really make them approve it, because... You didn't ask off for it way back when I told you to in April. I just couldn't believe that. I was like, well, I guess I'll take vacation alone. I guess I'm not really going to do much of anything anyway. So I can spend it, you know, enjoying the quiet of the house and then just get stuff done. I think that's my main goal. I think I'm going to use this one too. Did I use one on every day? Yep. But yeah, so I was just, I was like, really? You forgot to take it off? Come on. So, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, that's really, there's not, not a lot going on. I'm just ready for vacation. Work has been, it's not been bad. It's just been kind of frustrating. I don't know. Um, we're going to do lazy day on Sunday. 
and then kidnap mystery Sandy Claus. We'll do that on. I'm gonna put that on Thursday, just because it's Halloween. I'll just put that there. That's cute. Let's put the weekend banner on the right day this time. Uh, so I'm enjoying my plotter. I've had it just a few days now by this point. Um, let's see, when did I get it? Wednesday. And so I've been carrying it around and I haven't been carrying this. Um, I can say I do miss not having my planner with me. So I don't know. I may try to figure out. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just know. And maybe it's because I don't have the monthlies yet. They're coming. I think they'll be here on Wednesday, which I mean, I can't use it anyway because it's. Um, it's for next year. So maybe I'll print or even just make, cut down some paper that I have, punch a hole in it, some dot grid or something, and just make a couple of calendars for November and December since we're so close to the end of the year. I did, I'll show you what I did do. Oh, this chair. So I found my little pen loop. I did order one from Atlas. Should be here on Wednesday. But I forgot I had this from Salty Katie. So this is a Hobonichi Weeks pocket thing. I have several of these. And I had actually cut this one down to be pocket size years ago to just put my planner when I started carrying a pocket one because I didn't have a pin loop on one of my covers. So I just cut this down. It has a nice little pocket that you can use, but it's just the jelly. So I stuck it in, I just punched holes in it. I mean, I can still use it for either way, but I had already cut this down. So I was like, oh, I forgot about that. So I'm using that right now and I may keep using that because it's not, it is thick, but it's probably the only thing I have in here that's like thicker like that. So I did do these little monthly overview and wrote down, you know, the important dates and the, so this is October and then I messed up November because I can't make a calendar apparently, but, um, so I just marked through that one and I'll just toss this because it doesn't really meet, I migrate everything into my actual planner so it doesn't matter if I use it like this or if I have an actual calendar but I prefer an actual calendar but like I have my important dates and then some things that I need to do yeah we were coming back yesterday I have a note here that I have to have my car looked at I'm going to do that the week that I'm on vacation um the air quit working just quit blowing cold air so I'm gonna go have it looked at it's still under warranty through them for like 19 more days so I had like a hundred day warranty so if anything happened to the motor or to anything like that in between they would pay for it so I have to get it looked at now so anyway this is what I'm doing right now for the monthly and it's working it's fine so and then, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of how this is. Maybe it's because this pen is so big, but it just kind of does that and it sets weird. But, I don't know. So, we'll see. When the Lugstrom one gets here, I'll just put it on something and we'll see how it looks. I just tried several different things. I had it in the inside pocket and it just, I don't know, wasn't working out. So, let's go ahead and get... Um, let's actually use, I can use this sticker for my sleep. What color is the one that I, mm, it's not straight. I still have the one I think from last week's. So. What 
color is. I still have all of these. Um, it really doesn't match. So I was gonna say I'd just go ahead and use it. I mean, it's like almost the same color as his lips. Maybe I will use it just so it doesn't go to waste. I mean, whatever. So we'll do the weather here. The only thing I don't like about using these is you have to use a Sharpie or permanent marker with them. You can't just write on them with whatever. And I never carry one with me. So, I don't know. But we'll leave it like that for now. I like that. That's cute. And then let's see. We have just a little bit of deco. Go put this down here. Make it that one out of the way and then I have like all of the faces oh I didn't realize there was a happy Halloween I'll put that on there too oh I could do it actually here and we'll just leave that kidnapped Sandy Claus on the other one because it's cute okay so we've got that I think I'll leave uh, how many of these do we have We have eight of those, and then just the little, let's put this on here just for funsies. Because why not? That works. Okay, so we can use the pumpkin. And the Deadly Night Shade up here. And then we will put a, um, let's use Jack and Sally on Thursday. So put Sally on Wednesday and Jack on Thursday. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so then I'll fill in the rest of them. Just to use up as much as I can. I like using up all the stickers because I don't, I mean, they don't match anything else. So it's hard to go back and use them unless you have just like a one-off whatever. Oh, I'm so excited for Fountain Pen Day. It is next Friday. If you are a fountain pen user or want to be a fountain pen user, Atlas Stationers is doing a huge, um, I shouldn't have put that one. Let's do zero here. Um, they are doing a huge sale. And if you're in the Chicago area, you should go because they're doing like a bunch of different giveaways and uh, they have a bunch of huge sales that they're going to be offering. So yeah, you should definitely check them out if, uh, if you're in the Chicago area. If not, you can check them out online, which is what I'm going to be doing. So... I wish I was off next Friday because it would be easier to watch all of the fun festivities that they have going on, but it's all right. I, uh, I will watch where I can at work and I have no idea what I was saying. My phone went off. I thought it was somebody at my door, but it was... Just the ring telling me somebody had made a post about a cat. Um, fountain pen day. Yeah, I wish I was, I wish I was off that Friday, but we had fun. And I wanted to take this Friday off to be with Steven for his birthday weekend. Uh, 
Oh my goodness, I can't get that one to go down. <laughs> Keep sticking to the paper. There we go. Uh, I don't know. That's about it though. Yeah, so definitely check out Atlas if you are looking for some new pins. I'm going to have, I'll probably hopefully get a, another video up maybe Wednesday with some new inks and swatches. So if anybody is looking for something new, I was, I placed an order last week with Atlas. I, I wanted the monthly for my plotter and they had it come back in stock. So I went ahead and placed um, a larger order. I ordered the um, mystery box for their inks and you get like four inks. And actually, I didn't realize how good of a deal it was, but I did do a breakdown yesterday after they chose. Oh, I didn't mean to put that one here. Um, after they chose, because they did it live. Not there, here. Um, they did it live. And so, well, I asked them to pull it live. You can do that if you, when you place an order with them, you can ask them to do it on their live pull. And they do their lives. This uh, this week's live is going to be on Wednesday, but they usually do them on Fridays. But since it's fountain pen day, they're doing it on Wednesday this week. But anyway, so I asked them to pull mine live. So it was a four pack of ink random you know they just pick the pick which whatever it's a mystery box <laughs> my brain's not working so i had asked for i didn't really want any shimmer i just have a hard time with it because i'm bad about not cleaning my pens out and i just don't want shimmer to set in my pen i keep like one inked up with shimmer and actually, it's not even shimmer right now. It is Lamy Dark Lilac. So it's sheening. But that's the only one that I have in my pen right now. But I just try not to keep anything. I want to, hmm, maybe a purple or a green. Hmm. I don't think I have that color. And there's two different colors of purple here. So, oh, that didn't work. Mm. Neither one of those works. I guess I could do like I don't want to do the orange. I could just do gray. That one. I guess that one's pretty close to the... But I need it to be lighter. Yeah, we'll just do that. Um, man, I am having a hard time remembering what I'm saying this morning. It's rough. I don't know. Anyway. I know I was talking about Atlas. Check them out if you are. Oh, yeah. So, I did that ink pull. But I will try to get a video up of the inks that I got. I got five inks. So, four of them were the mystery box. And then, um, the fifth one I ordered is an orange. I didn't want it to sell out. I was worried. It's tea time afternoon tea I think I don't remember what brand it's from was it sailor I don't feel like it was a sailor ink but maybe it was um anyway so I have five inks so I'll share the swatches hopefully I'll get them up on Wednesday and that way if you want to pick any of them up on during their sale on Friday, you'd be able to. Um, you can still always use my code Heather Plans to save 10% on your order. Obviously, there are exclusions. Um, Esterbrook, Twisby. There are a couple other ones listed. It's down in the description box below. Um, 
for what does not work on the sale. Uh, and then just pop in a couple other of the stickers. I think I'll do this one on Friday because my video always goes up at 9. Well, usually, <laughs> unless I'm busy. Uh, okay, and then I'll just save the rest of them. I didn't realize there was another Deadly Nightshade sticker. Um, where did I, I put the other one up here at the front, didn't I? Hmm, where's Sally's picture? her since it's her little concoction that she uses she do that. okay so we'll flip through real quick and I'll show you the final product I think I have everything you can't really see that that highlighter at all is so pale yeah, whatever it's fine uh, yeah, so we'll flip through real quick. I'll show you guys what it looks like all finished. But yeah, so check out Atlas on Friday the 1st for F Fountain Pen Day. And let's see. I don't ever think to like zoom you guys in when I do these little flips. So you can see everything. But... Just some stickers, basically. That's it. Uh, I don't have anything planned. Oh, we have a meeting. On Tuesday. Oh, where's my... Still loving my Wren. I, and Atlas is sold out. They don't have any more of these pens. But they are expecting a restock. They didn't say when, though. But I do love this pen still. Uh, I have a meeting at... It's at 2.30. But, well, it'll... It'll probably be blocked off from like... 1 until 4. Because I have to drive out there. And it's a 45 minute drive. So, I guess I could have done that. Um, yeah, something like that. My cat is wanting in. Wow, that looked horrible. Anyway, um, I have that meeting on Tuesday. And I think that's it. I feel like there was something else I was supposed to be doing one day. I don't remember. Anyway. Okay. So... We have everything just set up and ready to go for next week. And that's it. And then I'll be on vacation. Oh, I'm so excited. All right. So I think that's it. If you guys do have any tips for your editing, if you edit videos, what programs do you use? And what do you use a PC or do you use a Mac? I'm just curious. I mean, for now, I'm just going to keep using CapCut because... It lets me, I don't, I don't understand what iMovie is doing. It just keeps saying that my computer is full and it won't let me put, it won't let me, like I can load the video on my computer. It won't let me import it to iMovie. And I have, but I mean like, I've used this program. I know how to use it. I've used it for years. So it's not like I'm forgetting to do something or I I don't know but it just says that my computer <clears throat> like it says that I'm using a hundred and something gigs of system system memory or something like that I don't know but it's just annoying so I don't know I'm guessing there's something I'm just missing but it does it every like little while I've had to fully restore my computer once and I don't want to have to do that again so 
<sighs> Hopefully I can figure something out or I'll just keep using CapCut, whatever. But anyway, so that is going to be it for next or that's going to be it for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and it would mean the absolute world to me if you consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one.